Einstein's big breakthrough was the realization that he needed to describe gravity in terms of a kind of crazy sounding idea, warps and curves in space and time. Now, how did he come up with this idea? Well, there's a little experiment, a kind of thought experiment that we can do together that will give you a, a glimpse into Einstein's thinking. And here's how it goes. Imagine that we have a box that is freely floating in outer space, no gravity at all. And imagine that you were inside the box, freely floating around, and you see there's a laser on that wall, and you push the laser, turning it on, what will happen? Well, you know the laser light will fire out and go in a perfectly straight line trajectory to the other side of the box. Good. Now, I just want to change this little thought experiment a little bit. Imagine that the box is actually hovering above the surface of the Earth. And we'll do the same experiment with the box freely falling toward the surface. The question is, what will you see inside of that box? And the answer, according to Einstein's happiest thought, is that your experience will be just like what you experience freely floating in outer space because his happiest thought is that when you're freely falling, that cancels out the force of gravity from your perspective. So let's do that. The box is now in free fall motion. You turn on the laser and from your perspective, the light goes straight across the box and hits at exactly the same point that it did when you were floating in outer space. But now the key question is, how will this appear to somebody on the surface of the Earth watching the box fall? Well, from their perspective, the laser light starts over here and ends at this location on the other side, which means that the trajectory of the light is not straight, it's curved. And that's the first hint that curvature is associated with the force of gravity. Now look, it took Einstein a good eight years of work to put mathematical might behind this idea and work out the general theory of relativity. But it all kind of starts here with this first recognition of a link between gravity and curvature.